Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to crochet this shell top for mermaid attire. So let's get started. For this, I am using a 4 ply sky blue color yarn and a crochet hook of size 2.5 mm. Begin with the slip knot and chain 7. Now skip the first stitch and make single stitch across the chain for row 1. You will get total 6 single stitches in your first row. Now for going on to the second row, chain 1 and flip your work. This chain 1 acts as first single stitch in second row. So leave that first stitch and from the second stitch insert the hook only into the back loops and make a single stitch across the row. You will get a total of 6 single stitches along with the chain 1. Now this side we are going to make an increase. So chain 1 and make a single stitch in the back loop of the first stitch. So this both together constitutes as an increase. And continue with the single stitch across the line. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the notifications for my latest videos. This side of the row doesn't have any increase, so chain 1, flip your work. Skip that first stitch and from the second stitch insert the hook into back loops and continue to work SC. This technique of making stitches only in the back loops gives you the texture of the shell. Now we are making the last stitch of the row. Make this a single stitch, chain 1 and turn your work for the next row. And for this side we have an increase in the first stitch. So put, make that increase and continue to make single stitches throughout the row. So by this time you might have figured out the pattern. We are making one increase in every alternative row at one end while keeping the other end straight. And working in back loops gives you a nice shell texture. Continue this pattern until you finish 11th row. So after making 11 rows, this is how the top looks like. For row 12, chain 1 and turn your work. Now make a decrease, that is drop a loop from the next 2 stitches and draw the yarn out of all the 3 loops on the hook. This is called SC together. Now continue to make the single stitch throughout the row.
Now make the last stitch in the row 12, chain 1 and turn your work and for 13th row just make a single stitch across the row. Now make the last stitch of row 13, chain 1 and turn your work. This is now row 14. So start with a decrease that is 2 single stitches together and continue to perform single stitch throughout the row. Now make the last stitch of row 14, chain 1 and turn your work. For row 15, just continue to make single stitch in the back loops throughout the row. Now make the last stitch of this row, chain 1 and turn your work. Again for row 16, begin with a decrease that is 2 single stitches together. And continue to single stitch in the back loops across this row. Continue this pattern of one normal row of single stitch and one row of decrease continued by single stitch alternatively until you reach 21 rows. So after making 21 rows, this is how the top looks like with a nice embossing texture. If you have followed the pattern correctly, this is how it looks like. And you can check just by folding it in half and check whether both the halves are same or not. Now chain 1 and cut the excess thread by leaving 10 to 15 cm tail. Draw the yarn out of the loop to form the knot. Now let's make the shape of the shell with the help of a yarn needle. Weave the tail end in and out from the straight edge of the top. Watch it carefully. While doing this, just make sure that the needle is going under the line where the front loops are showing. This makes the top look even more detailed. Once it is done, pull the thread tightly and make the knot at the starting place to secure the shape of a shell. You can decide on how close the shell should be and make the knot accordingly. Here I made a small hole to make a detailed finish. So to complete its look. I am just drawing this tail end through the hole and making 6 single stitches into the gap. Once it is done, chain 1 and weave in the ends. Now make another one of the same size. And you can join them together with the help of few pearls or beads and you can join them either way as shown. You can even use these crocheted shells and add them as applique to any of your ocean theme projects or aquarium projects or anything. So here is the finished product. It's a shell top for a mermaid attire. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.